This is the Morning Swim Show for Thursday, April 12th, 2012. I'm your host, Peter Bush, in the Phoenix Monitor today. We talked to Greg Perini. He's the head swim coach at Denison University. Their men just won their second consecutive Division III swim title. Coach Perini joins us right now in the Phoenix Monitor from Granville, Ohio. Coach, welcome back to the show. How are you? I'm doing great. It's nice to see you again. Nice to see you. We talked to you at this time last year after you guys uh, broke Kenyon's long streak and won your first title. Uh -huh. I guess we're going to have to make this a yearly thing. Well, we wouldn't mind that a bit. We I'm sure mind you wouldn't. Well, last, year you, last year you won by a mere point. This year you had a little bit more breathing room, so to speak. Yeah. Well, I mean, we, we felt like we were a better team going into this year. Uh, more talent, more experience. I think last year's experience of, you know, having finally, you know, won the meet served us well. Uh, Ironically, it was that experience, you know, but we also, ironically, we had to let go of that meet in order for us to succeed this year. But uh, we thought we had a better team. We knew we were up against better competition, too. So you know, I thought the guys did a really good job of rising to the, to the occasion. But they rose to the occasion all year long. They answered the belt, you know, from, you know, from September to March and uh, very pleased with the way it went. Right, I want to give you a chance to recognize some of your student athletes who did great and allowed this to happen. Tell us about some of those who stepped up at the big meet. Well, you know, you start with the senior class, uh, specifically Robert Berry, who you know, I think, uh, you know, came off last year where he had been abroad for a semester, and I think that was a, uh, a, f a formative experience for him traveling abroad and training uh, over in Denmark. Um, it was a great experience for him. He came back, I think, a more mature uh, swimmer when as a junior, and I think that that just rolled into a great senior year, you know, him going out with two national records in both backstrokes. and. You know, within a whisker of winning the 100 fly this year, I think he kind of set the pace for us. Um, you know, and he set the tone for us all year long. Robert's a very vocal, uh, very consistent leader of the team. He was great in the pool. He was great in the locker room. Uh, not only holding himself accountable, but his teammates around him. Uh, great leadership from him. And then you go down to the sophomore class with a guy like Al White, who's, you know, got us off to a great start on Wednesday night with his national record in the 500. Uh, going 421, it was an aggressive swim. It was an attacking swim. The kind of you know, it's a, it was a Denison swim from that standpoint. And uh, for him then to come back and, and, and swimming a brand new event in the 400 IM, becoming national runner up on the second day, anchoring our national record uh, 800 free relay on the third day, and then winning the mile in national record time. You know, Al was a pace setter for us all along. So we're very very happy with him and. You know, the list goes on, but those two are the two standouts for us. And we should note your women did pretty well. The third, I believe. Yeah, the, the women did quite well. We were pleased. They had a little bit of adversity. Our best swimmer was, you know, struggling with the herniated disc. Uh, or I should Rather, I should say a bulging disc at the meet. Uh, Alyssa Swanson had a tough time, but the girls rallied around that, and we really posted some great swims. Emily Schroeder, and uh, senior, uh, you know, national runner-up in the, in the 200 backstroke, and a couple tight finishes in the 2 IM and the 4 IM, as well as Hillary Callen, another one of our senior captains, did a great job leading the team. So you mentioned some senior leadership on the guy's side. Despite that, yeah. is it a young team? Are you losing a lot? I guess the big picture question is, do you believe this could be the dawn of a Denison dynasty? Well, when it comes to streak, I can only count as high as one. And so uh, that's that's as far as I'll count. But um, you know, next year is going to present a whole new uh, line of challenges for the men's team. We think we've got a good talent base, you know, built up. We've got some young swimmers coming up. Um, you know, as, as well as Al and Robert did for us this year, I think the key for us was seeing the improvement of guys like Jackson Humphrey, who last year scored in only one event, coming back and going top eight and three this year, and a guy like Sean Chabot, who had a very similar sort of pattern. So we've got some young swimmers that are coming up. And, you know, I think the key for us is to continue to develop our swimmers. I think we'll have a competitive team. Now, whether that translates into another championship, you know, is, is yet to be seen. But I think we'll be competitive, and uh, we're looking forward to the challenge. You know, we talked to someone from Kenyon recently on the show who said they're actually, they like having this great new rivalry with Denison. I mean, they thought it was actually a good thing that it wasn't just chalk it in for Kenyon every single year. Well, I... That's a great perspective. I mean, um, you know, I, we've got great respect for for, the, for for Kenyon along with every other team in the country, and we look forward to competing against anybody. And, uh, you know, this is not just a Kenyon-Denison 
dual need by any means. I mean, a lot of people want to frame it that way, and uh, we don't look at it that way. We've got to go through a lot of good teams uh, to win this championship, and there's a lot of very, uh, like I said, very well-coached teams and, and some, you know, some great talent out there. So it's not just a Kenyon Denison thing by any means. All right, aside from great swimming, what is Denison University known for? I think great academics. I think we're in, you know, an academic, academically centered uh, institution. Um, you know, we put uh, we put a great deal of emphasis on student development here, and uh, and it's a beautiful campus. You know, we're set in uh, you know we're set in central Ohio, and uh, it's a beautiful area in the Welsh Hills, and uh, so a beautiful campus and uh, great academics and pretty good swimming program. How did you wind up there? Oh boy, that's a, that's a long story. Um, but uh, I knew about Denison uh, during my college days, and uh, I had been coaching abroad and coaching in another small, small college for a while. And uh, I know that the um, I, I remember when the Denison job opened up. I'm like, you know, that's a that's a, a, a school that could really support a great swimming program. And so I was really excited to come down and and with the idea of trying to develop a program into a national contender. Uh, the cupboard wasn't bare by any means when I got here. I inherited a a pretty strong team, one that had been a national runner-up on the men's side one year, and a women's team that had kind of cracked into the top ten. And so there was a certain amount of inertia in the program when I got here, and I just tried to build on it from there. Well, Coach, congrats on all the success. From Thank the looks you. of your office, you're going to have to uh, find a space for that new trophy behind you, but I'm sure you'll make it work. Well, it's great. Yeah, we're all opening up our new natatorium this summer so new office new natatorium so hopefully they'll give me a little bit more space for the hard work good deal thanks a lot for joining us thank you so much have a great day all right that's greg perini joining us from denison university and that's it for today's show i'm peter bush reminding you to keep your head down at the finish